Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Wizard 101 where today we are going to be continuing with the story of Merle Ambrose, the headmaster. Not really, but we'll see what's happening next. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. All right, Merle, what you got for me? Welcome to Ravenwood Academy, young wizard. <laughs> and normally, this is where you'd be enrolled and sent to your classes. But times are not normal. There's some kind of supernatural incursion in Unicorn Way that must be dealt with immediately. I wonder... Ooh, I can go. You've demonstrated such potential, I think practical experience will serve you better <laughs> than lectures. Care to put your talents to the test? I honestly wish that's how it was at college, because I would much rather be doing hands-on work than sitting and listening to a professor talk for three hours. Splendid. Time is of the essence, so I'll teleport you there directly. Seek out Private Connolly, the wizard city guard in charge of that area. All right. Private Connolly. Welcome to Unicorn Way. There are creatures here who will attack you if you get too close to them, so stick to the task at hand. Whoa, 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 young student. The street's very dangerous right now. Is there something I can help you with? Wizard, do you see the symbol above Private Connolly's head? That means he has something important to tell you. Go speak with him. All right. All right, what's up, Private Connolly? What's up? You say the headmaster sent you to help us. Well then, you're just the person, a oh, wizard, I've been waiting for. This used to be a pleasant street, but we've been invaded by hordes of strange creatures. The guards and I have been doing our best to push the creatures back, but we're no match for their dark magic, especially the undead. Ooh. Maybe your fancy wizard magic will do the trick. Go battle a few of those lost souls, then report back to me. Good luck! To battle the monsters, run up to them on the street. When you get close enough to them, they will summon a combat sigil, and you will be pulled into combat. If you want to avoid battle, you can keep safe by staying on the sidewalk. If you can drive away some of these lost souls, we'll be in your debt. Oh, yeah, you will. I will make sure of that. Alright, let's see. So I know the wand we get first gives us special powers. Yeah, all these down here gives us access to all the different class spells. But these are our main starting spells right here. So we'll go ahead and get with those. Blood Bat, that's what we got. And then we got the other ones down here. Oh, a nice mount. Alright, let's see what we got. Lost Soul. Alright, I guess I'll go ahead and... So, like I said, the percentage here is the percentage it will either pass or fail. This means that it'll pass. So, that's a 10% fail. Fingers crossed it doesn't fail. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what it means when it fails. It's a fizzle. I can make that noise, too. Come here, you bad, bad ghost. See what you got. We are also really close to leveling up. Alright, let's use our myth spell. Blood bat? I think that's right. Ooh, ouchie. That hurt. Oh yeah, spit at him. I am here, student wizard. <laughs> Come, souls! Let's get lost somewhere safer! While your character is transparent, you are safe from combat, but it only lasts for a short time. Get to the sidewalk before it wears off. Then let me. Stop keeping me. Alright, I'm gonna grab this mana. So what they have in here as well is they have little orbs. I think they'll explain it in... The red ones give you health, the blue ones give you mana, and the gold ones give you gold, which you can use later on. All right, Private Connolly. That's turn the tide. We'll follow your lead and start pushing these ghostly things back. But I'm worried we won't be able to drive the phantoms away for good without knowing why they're attacking us. 
We've got to find out what's behind this. Another intrepid student, Siri Nightchan, also came to help. Maybe he's learned something useful. Maybe. Alright, what's up, Serene? Oh, hey there. I'm Saren. You're new here, aren't you? Well, I for one am very glad you're here. I couldn't help but notice how you took down those lost souls. I have to say, I'm quite impressed by your spell-slinging skills. When I heard there was trouble on Unicorn Way, I rushed right over. But then I saw what's out there. Skeletal pirates. Skeletons I can handle, but skeletal pirates? Huh! Yar! No, thank you! Pirates <laughs> give me the heebie-jeebies. The heebie-jeebies. Excuse me, did I hear you two talking? No. It would be good to know exactly what we're up against. Do you think you could battle a few skeletal pirates to see how tough they are? Sure. Great! I'll mark their location on your map. Thank you so much for doing this. Good luck. Good Ooh, luck. Press M to access your map. You'll notice several points of interest, including the locations of enemies. Because you'll be engaging in combat, it's imperative you know how to regain health and mana. If you need to boost your health, collect the red wisps you see along the street. Oh, if you need mana, collect blue wisps. Remember, casting spells costs mana, and fleeing combat drains it completely. So keep your reserves full. Go battle a few of the skeletal pirates on Unicorn Way. The guards will appreciate a report on their combat tactics. Sounds good to me. Let's get going on it then. And the reason I'm not talking to her, don't worry, I was not being rude, is there's things in this that give you side quests, and I don't want any of those. Because it drags you from the main quest, and I'll end up, instead of, instead of spending 500 episodes, I'll end up spending like 2,000 trying to get to the same thing. Right, come here, little skelly tape pirate. See what you got. Kind of creepy though, aren't they? Alright, uh, so they have 80 health. So I guess I'll use this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we got a hat. I can't use it until level 5, though. What level am I? Level 2! Let's go! Alright, Skeletal Pirate. Let's see what you got. Alright, we are gonna use Thunder Snake yet again. Don't fizzle. Don't fizzle. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Oh, we love yeah. when the FPS drops. Parley, parley. Ye got guts, little wizard. More than us to be sure, but ye be no match for that which rattles in the darkness. <laughs> I'm kind of just imagining the person who voiced this, like, sitting at home, and they're just doing their, like, little, like, thing that they were hired for, and they're just in their room going, -ah 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 -ah. I can't even do it right. -ah 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 -ah. Like, can you imagine? Like, I wonder if they have roommates. What do they think? All right, I'm coming, Serene. Oh, wow. You made it back. I mean, uh, how'd it go? What did you learn? So much faith. Pirates warned about a rattle in the darkness? See, this is what I was talking about. Pirates are always creepy and frustratingly vague. What is clear is that some evil magic has emerged here, and we're going to need more than a handful of guards to stop it. There is a powerful, ancient being who may be able to help us understand the dark forces we're facing, the wise seraph, Lady Ariel. Not only does Lady Ariel possess strong magic, she's also the warden of the fairies, and they keep her well informed. Perhaps she's heard something about this rattle in the darkness. Go speak with her in the hedge maze at the far end of Unicorn Way. All right, I'm coming, Lady Ariel. Let's see. Oh, we got an adventurer's helm. Gives us plus two resist for meth. Yeah, plus two damage resist. And it is definitely not as cool as the hat we had before. All right, I'm going to leave a mark location here. That only takes away three mana, but I can teleport back with this button down here. That way I don't have to walk all the way back and forth. It saves me time, and it helps overall. We are almost to Lady Oriel. We will be there shortly. Keep walking. Keep walking. Oh, yeah. Up the stairs. Into the hedge maze. Here we go. 
Oh, isn't this pleasant? What purpose brings Goodness. you into our hedge maze? I'm sorry. Forgive me, young wizard. These dark times make me leery of new faces. But now I see the light within you. We've much to discuss. Yes, we do indeed, Lady O'Reilly. What do you got to tell me? The evil forces that loosed the undead upon Unicorn Way have also corrupted my precious fairies. Please, you must help them. Okay. Vile bone cages have appeared along Unicorn Way. They are filled with a mysterious dark magic that corrupts all fairy folk who venture near them. Dispel the dark magic in the bone cages. Then bring me fairy dust from those it corrupted. It may reveal to me who is behind this atrocity. It pains me to say it, but the only way to obtain the fairy dust is to wrestle it from the dark fairies in combat. Try to be gentle. Yeah, I'll try not to wrestle roughly. Once you've dispelled the bone cages and collected the fairy dust. Return to me immediately. Good luck, young wizard. May the light guide you. All right, so we got to defeat dark fairies and open the bone cages. Sounds easy enough. Sorry, not defeat. We got to wrestle the dark fairies. Completely different. All right. Oh my goodness. Why is my screen like this? I hate that. Oh my goodness. I hate it. We got to open the bone cages. All right, bone cage number two. Bone cage number three. And bone cage number four. Come here, let me wrestle you, dark fairy. Wish we could fix it so it didn't look like that. All right, so first things first, they have 115 health. So I'm just gonna go with the hard ball right here. Oh yeah, that felt great. Oh, that felt even better. I love it when it does that. All right, I guess we'll use Blood Bat. My spell. Might as well. Mm. Oh yeah, we got that resist on. You know it. Oh, that was a good try. Good try. This one has 85%, but we're gonna use another blood bat. We're staying true. Uh, that hurt. All right, blood bat, don't fail me. Yes! All right, um, why is my eye so itchy? I can't see. Oh my goodness, it's still doing it. Uh, feed another dark fairy, please. Before I go crazy. Alright, we'll go ahead and use Imp. Because he's a simp. Oh yeah! Fail! Eighty-five. Alright, let's use our own spell. Come on. Don't fail me. Oh, fail again! Yeah! Yeah, boy! Oh, why? Is my hair in my eye? Oh, I can feel the darkness down in my bones! But now that terrible cloud has been lifted! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! You're very welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You hear a tiny, joyful voice call your name. Thank you for helping us, kind wizard. Your courage and benevolence will not soon be forgotten by the fairy folk. Oh, yeah. You've cemented your reputation as a hero to the fairy folk, young wizard. With the bone cages dispelled, I can help the other corrupted fairies in time. Now we must root out who is behind this attack. Please, let me examine the fairy dust. Is that? But how? The fairy dust displays scars of a dark magic banished from this world long ago. Could it be? Rattle in the darkness? 
that his name? Rattlebone. Oh. In life, a ruthless tyrant <laughs> who was banished to the underworld for his crimes. If I focus, perhaps I can sense his location. Oh, so much darkness. No, my vision is obscured. All I see is a tower ringed in bones. You must hurry. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Take this broom. It will allow you to travel to Siren much faster. Now fly, and may the light guide you. You've received a temporary mount that will expire after one day. You can also purchase permanent mounts from mount vendors or the crown shop. To equip a mount, press B to open your backpack. Next, click on the mount tab and double click on the mount you wish to use. Quickly, you must ride to Siren at once. Ask him if he knows of a tower ringed in bones. Go. All right. Well, we got a mount and boots and plus two resist myth boots. I love it. Love seeing it. And we got a one day mount, which we will use next episode as I have to get going because I have a big, big day ahead. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you in the next episode. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Tell me how you think this series is doing. And I hope to see you next episode. Bye-bye.